Uh, I want to start with your great article this week on Steve Sarkeesian because uh, there was, you know, certainly a lot of hype when he got the gig in Austin, and then they lost a lot of close games in his first year. And, you know, I think uh, I would agree with you that, you know, at some level, all that matters is that the guy landed Arch Manning. I don't even care what they do this year. Uh, this guy landed the greatest fish in the ocean, and that kid's going to play football in Austin, Texas for the Longhorns. And when they go to the SEC, he's going to be like a junior and a senior uh, for two years playing in the SEC. Steve Sarkeesian, I believe, will be playing for a national championship by then. That's that's the hope. That's the plan. And it, it's interesting that after and, and, and it, one wonders if it's because he committed to Texas and not one of the obvious uh, established powers. I realize Texas is a historic power, but it has not been great uh, for more than a decade. Uh, maybe that's why they're starting to be at least from one or two people who are uh, college recruiting analysts, a little bit of backlash about Arch. There's some feeling uh, look, I haven't seen him play, uh, and I'm not sure that I 100% know what to look for if I did. I've never evaluated a high school quarterback relative to his college and pro future. But I have seen some pushback that if his name weren't Manning, he would not necessarily be the number one prospect in all of high school football. Now, that's a that's a fairly rare opinion. Most of what's out there is he is really extraordinary. But he's coming in to a program that you know that that has a lot that really needs work uh defensively they were a disaster a year ago so they need to make big improvement on that side of the ball but they've got a lot of really good skill players already in place uh you, you're talking about Bijan robinson a terrific running back if anybody who watched any college football last year saw what he's capable of he, he can be exceptional he may become the first and if uh, first college player college back taken in the draft when he's ready to go and then they brought in a kid named Quinn Ewers for this yeah. season uh, who 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 coming out of high school was basically Arch Manning without the name Arch Manning uh he signed a half million dollar NIL deal went to Ohio State uh, but he wasn't ready as a freshman uh, they already had terrific uh, uh quarterback in place uh, and so he, after a year there, decided to go back to Texas where they needed a quarterback. They'd lost theirs from a year ago and try to win the starting job. Now, he's got some competition from a young man named Hudson Card. Uh, but if, if Ewers becomes the player that he was projected to be out of high school, then he could start this year, next year when Arch is a freshman, and then Arch could be set up to take over as an experienced redshirt freshman uh, in the subsequent season. 